One other Rick Santorum story. Rick Santorum made a very bizarre comment about the Dutch. He started talking about how the Dutch euthanize their elderly. And he said euthanasia is legal in Holland. And he's told audiences that old people in Holland wear bracelets that say, don't euthanize me, and are actually afraid to be hospitalized because 10% of hospital deaths are from euthanasia every year. And he said half of those euthanasia deaths are involuntary. This is what Rick Santorum is saying to people. The statements have been refuted by the Dutch people many, many times. The Dutch government made it clear that, number one, euthanasia is not legal, but there are exemptions from prosecution for doctors who comply with a patient's wishes to die. Now, this is the interesting part. A Rick Santorum campaign official responded to a Dutch journalist about this. And listen to the answer. The answer makes absolutely no sense. Here is the explanation. As a Dutch reporter, I have to ask you about something you said about Holland and euthanasia. I don't know if you read about that on the blogs. He stated that uh, people wear bracelets in Holland saying, do not, do not euthanize me, and that people are involuntarily euthanized. Do you remember him saying that? Yeah, but a lot of these things, it's, it's, it's a matter of what's in his heart. He's, he is a strong pro-life person, and that comes from life until natural death, and that's where he is, and those are the issues, the issues that are important to the people of America and the people that right. come out to vote for him, and that is uh, strong pro-life from conception to natural right, death. That makes sense, but it, the Let's government of Holland says the embassy says, well, the figures he used are not correct. He sort of gave a wrong picture of the uh, Dutch abortion, uh, Dutch euthanasia rules. What is your... Rick is, is strong pro-life. He is... <laughs> right. Hey, your candidate is just making stuff up. What do you think about that? Listen, it's really all about what's in his heart. And he is a strong pro-life guy. Th how is that an answer from a kid? That's the person who's speaking on your behalf. You know, at the same time, as crazy as this is, this is also more fear mongering. I mean, he's trying <laughs> to make people think that, well, if you don't vote for me, this could end up happening in America. Yeah. Well, and it's, also, why why do the Netherlands have anything to do with Rick Santorum's campaign? Good question. We're going to go to break. On the bonus show, we're going to talk about a woolly mammoth clone. We'll talk about Muslim spying by the NYPD and also tourism in Bhutan. DavidPakman.com slash March 15. Tomorrow, we're giving away, Lewis, an iPad and an interview opportunity. The David Pakman Show at DavidPakman.com.